No need to travel far to fish for mackerel. Haldor sets his lines and the fish are biting like crazy. But Mother Nature's bounty is causing tensions. For the past two years, global warming has pushed mackerel into Icelandic waters, cutting into the supply of other European fishermen. Our neighbors envy us, but this is a species that just arrived in Icelandic waters. Of course they dislike it, but the mackerels in our fishing areas and our business is fishing. Why shouldn't we be allowed to fish in our own waters? Ireland, France, as well as Spain and Portugal are leading the charge in the so-called mackerel war. Their argument, a failure to comply with European quotas set up for the species' survival. Haldor, like many Icelandic fishermen, says that's not the case. We're not overfishing. We have five to six hundred kilograms in each bin, and there are eleven bins on board. I don't catch more than three to four tons of fish a day. Back in Reykjavik, the fishing ministry is convinced Icelandic policy is better than EU legislation on this issue. We have our own label, Icelandic Responsible Fisheries. We have shown through history that we uh, manage our stocks well. We, as a fishing nation, are very dependent on fisheries. We, we know the importance of doing this the right way. Uh, and I think it's generally acknowledged that the Icelandic system uh, is by far more efficient and better than, for example, the EU fishing. But the EU suffers a credibility problem as it tries to revamp its outdated fishing policy. This is first of all on our side that the EU is still working on the next generation fisheries policy. And of course we don't know yet what will be the outcome. So we negotiate, we negotiate them based on the present legal base. The fishing issue remains one of the biggest obstacles in the accession talks with Brussels. Some fear it could sink Iceland's bid to join the EU.